This Z-Wave toggle switch is used to wirelessly control lights and can be integrated with voice assistants such as Amazon Alexa and others. Z-Wave devices communicate at a 900 MHz band, a lower frequency than your Wi-Fi that communicates at 2.4 and 5 GHz. As a result, you'll have to connect Z-Wave devices to a hub that is connected to your router through wired or wireless connection. Start by removing the existing toggle switch. Needless to say, working on the electrical switch is an electrical shock hazard. The manufacturer recommends turning off the power at the branch circuit. However, it is recommended that you turn off the main power. You'll be working with a neutral wire where I found that it still has power unless you turn off the main. The wires may be a little difficult to pull out. Using a pair of pliers will help. For the insulated wires, don't pull on the insulation so not to tear it. Grip by the plastic wire nut or the bare wire instead. Double checking the toggle switch for electrical power never hurts. It's also a good idea to check the wires for any tears. The Z-Wave switch requires power for the neutral wire. Some kits come with a jumper. Mine didn't, so I used a piece of 14 gauge wire as recommended by the manufacturer. I stripped it to about 5 eighths of an inch. Install the neutral jumper wire with the existing wiring, securing it with a plastic wire nut. I had plenty of wire so I cut the black line, also known as a hot wire, and the load wire so I had a clean strip to work with. Take a close look at the back of your smart switch and orient it with the manufacturer's diagram. Install the neutral wire identified by the letter B in the manufacturer's diagram. In this application, I installed it in the enclosure hole, then tighten up the terminal screw to secure it in place. It's easier to use a short blade Phillips screwdriver to tighten, but I had just bought the cordless driver and was trying it out. I then stripped about 5 8 inch of insulation from the black hot and load wire. Try to situate the wires so as not to cross them and make it easier to reinsert in the gang box. Install the hot line into the switch. It's identified by the manufacturer's diagram as letter A. In this application, I again installed it in the enclosure hole, then tighten up the terminal screw to secure in place. Then install the load wire in the same way. The load wire identified in the diagram as letter C leads to your light fixture. Finally, install the ground wire. This wire may be bare copper or have green insulation. It's identified as letter D in the manufacturer's diagram. Carefully reinsert the wires into the gang box. Be careful not to pinch, crush the wires, or tear the insulation. Now secure the switch to the gang box with the supplied screws. I find it easier to only partially tighten one screw and alternate tightening assessing the wire placement inside the gang box. Now turn on the main power in this model, the switch will glow blue when it's powering the light fixture. Just a quick note, I had to shave off part of the hole spacers on the switch plate so it would fit flush on the smart switch. But don't connect the face plate yet. Let's connect the Z-Wave switch to the hub. I'll be connecting the smart switch to a Samsung third generation SmartThings hub. To set up the automation for the smart switch, open Samsung SmartThings on your cell phone or tablet. Click on Devices at the bottom. Click on the plus sign and select Add Device. Click on the Scan QR Code. The QR code will be located on the face of the smart switch. That's why you don't want to put the faceplate on yet. It may take a while for the process to complete. You just got to be patient. If it fails, simply disconnect the power from your SmartThings hub and wait a few minutes to reboot and try again. Once the process is complete, you'll get a success notice. In this installation, the smart switch automatically connected to Alexa through the SmartThings hub. Next, just rename your switch.
You can now control the smart switch with the app and add it to any group or scene. You can also add the switch to a routine in Alexa to automatically turn the light on and off at its scheduled time and even integrate it into other apps. Alexa, turn on fire lights. Alexa, turn off fire lights. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I sometimes do video responses to your questions so others can benefit as well. Thanks, stay safe, and God bless.